I want to show you what might happen if you videotape everything you eat for seven days. At first, you're going to say, well, this is pretty fun documenting everything I eat. And then it's going to be cumbersome, not fun. Bring out your phone, set it up, turn on some lights and videotape everything you eat. And even if you don't actually make a video with this, you don't actually put it together in iMovie or whatever video program, you're going to find that you're not spending the week alone. You're camera is actually your accountability partner. It's going to hold you to the promises that you made to yourself, whatever it is. And so you're going to find yourself making slightly better decisions. Like instead of a couple Starbursts, you're going to have a couple of blueberries. Like when you end up going out to dinner alone, you might choose roti, Mediterranean fast casual, instead of McDonald's. Or when you do go to Chipotle, you might not get meat or cheese or sour cream. Maybe you have one beer or two instead of three or four. Every time you do go to the kitchen and compulsively open the fridge, you're gonna think twice because it's a little bit of a pain. Set up your phone, put it on a little tripod, and maybe you were just thirsty. Or maybe it is ridiculous that you're looking for something to eat at 11 p.m. You might find yourself doing little things that make you proud, like something you've been putting off, like finishing three bags of chip crumbs. You might learn a little bit about who you really are as a person. You're out to dinner with some people and it's happy hour. Is it more important for you to stick to your diet and order something more expensive than what's on the happy hour menu that doesn't perfectly fit with the diet or promise that you have made to yourself? Maybe you realize that you start your day every day with a handful of granola, which is basically just sugar, and maybe you'll reconsider that, or maybe not. You might find yourself thinking ahead a tiny bit. Maybe not just one frozen pizza, but two frozen pizzas. But it's all because someone's watching. You're not alone. You're doing something that you're proud of. You're gonna show off. Perhaps you'll use food to reward yourself for completing a task, something you've been meaning to do. Hopefully it stops the squeaking floor. Even if you don't actually get it right. You might find yourself taking a little, like one extra step to make something a little better, a little bit of extra effort. A pizza without cheese, add your own special cheese and maybe some green olives. Maybe you'll throw some broccoli next to your frozen pizza. You might find yourself on your phone so much, documenting what you ate and videotaping what you ate, to be so sick of your phone that you might just sit down and actually eat your food and enjoy with intention, like actually mindfully eat. You might also find yourself thinking so much about what you're gonna feed yourself and whether or not it's worth it and how you're gonna get it and when you're gonna eat it and being so intentional about it that it almost feels selfish and, and end up feeling like you should do something for other people, like sign up for volunteering. Really, this actually was a thought that went through my head during this week. You might find that after a, a full week that the tiny little bit more effort to make a green juice in your blender is so much better than just making a protein shake from nothing. And after seven days, you might just have a completely different relationship with the barrel of the lens of your camera. All right, uh, seven days is up. Let's close this thing out with one final grocery haul before I head to the airport and pick up the crew. It's been a long, it's been a long seven days, but a short seven days. Um, I just want to say thanks for being here with me. I've, uh, it's been just me the past seven days and I've, um, but I haven't really felt alone. I've been thinking about you in some strange way, uh, this whole time. So thank you for that. Thank you for being here watching this. Definitely subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already hit the bell to get notifications. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Ooh, special treat. More Nola. Cause I finished all this. Toast for the baby, banana bread for the baby, blueberries for the baby. The baby's Ezra. He's not a baby anymore, he's 19, 20 months almost. And finally, flowers for the missus.